Boko Haram terrorist organizer surrenders, explains why fighters are coming out without weapons. Abacha Ngala, a vulcanizer and fighter with the Islamic State for West African Province, ISWAP, has surrendered to the Nigerian troops along Dikwa Ngala General Area of Operations in Borno State, Northeast Nigeria. The former fighter, who came along with his wife, explained why most of the fighters coming out were not carrying their weapons. Daily Post recalls that residents of Meduguri, the Borno state capital, have observed that Boko Haram fighters who have been surrendering to, to troops in droves were coming out of the forest without their weapons, a situation which posed a lot of questions about their sincerity. The former fighter, who submitted himself to troops, said he was a vulcanizer for the terrorists, a business he had been doing before deciding to join the terror group, which has been fighting government troops in the last 12 years. According to Abacha, this is my legal wife, whom I married long before I joined the terror group. We had two children, and we took them along when I joined ISWAP, but those children are late now. Speaking on how they've been surviving, Abacha and Gala said they always received their food through Munguno town and villages around Cameroon. According to him, they exchange food with fish. We used to catch fish and sell. We do not have each issues getting food, but both within the country and across the border from Cameroon Republic, he added. Abacha said most of the fighters do not have their own rifles as it was only given to them whenever they were going out for operations. I never had a gun. Our leaders bring them when we are going out and they always collect them back after the operations, he said. Speaking on how he got out from the group and submitted himself, Abacha said he got tired with the whole idea of the group and tried to escape at one point, but he was arrested and put in prison where he spent four months before being released. After my release from prison, we planned again with my friends, three of them, and decided to move out, but they backed down in the end for fear. They asked me to go ahead that when I succeed, they would too find a way to come out. So I took my wife and we escaped. This is why we are submitting ourselves to troops, he said. Wow. Can we call this prayer answered or the pressure from the military on Boko Haram terrorists? We pray that more of them will surrender and this whole terrorist group will be wiped out. Well, let's look at some of the comments in the comment section. Someone says, why can't the government use the Boko Harams that are surrendering to locate the location of the other terrorists and finish them? Exactly. These people are surrendering. The government should try and make use of this opportunity. Another person says, these men are not members of Boko Haram. They are pretending so to get money from the government because hunger too much for Nigeria. This can be true and it may not be true. Another person says this kind of self surrendering and submissions are really questionable. Well, viewers, what is your view on this situation? Comment down in the sec comment section below. Thank you.